Welcome to Guide Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering Practice Problem 11.1. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you like this video just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Now, given these two sinusoidal signals of voltage and current and we're asked to find the instantaneous power as well as the average power. So let's start by looking at a few things. So if you have cosine of A multiplied by cosine B, you should get half cosine A subtract B plus cosine A plus B. And this identity is helpful when we are actually dealing with instantaneous power, because if you were to write both of these in terms of cosine, then having a general form of this, right, would give you, so adding two of these with one that has um, a theta of one and another that has a theta of two. So you have, let's say you have two, two of these, the other one has theta of two. So if you were to multiply these two because in instantaneous power, it's just simply multiplying the two, so if you were to multiply these two, then you just basically say half of cosine, then say omega t plus theta one, subtract omega t plus theta two. This would basically result in these canceling out and you'd only have theta one, subtract theta two. Then over here, you'd add half of cosine. Now adding these two arguments would give you two that plus theta one plus theta two. And this is basically how we formulate the formula for instantaneous power. So instantaneous power is meant to be this, where theta one is for voltage and theta, this one, basically the other one is for current. So this is for voltage and this is for current, right? So now that we have this formula, we can just basically convert this into a cosine as well. And to do that, you just subtract the argument or subtract 90 from the argument. And therefore, I have t is equal to 20 cosine 10 t plus 60 degrees and subtract, uh, sorry, subtract 90. And that will give us 20 cosine 10 t subtract 30 degrees. Now substituting everything, now we have both in cosine form. We have I of t in cosine form A, and we have U of t in cosine form. Now substituting it back into here, which is our instantaneous power, we're gonna have, not forgetting the amplitudes. Now we have amplitudes here. We have 165 in joints. You have to put those into account. So they're gonna come here and here. Those are the amplitudes, you shouldn't forget those. So doing this, you're basically going to have half amplitude 165 multiplied by 20. Then you're going to have your cosine theta, which is associated with your voltage is 20 degrees. And then you're going to subtract the other one, which is basically negative 30 degrees. Then you're going to add half the multi uh, amplitudes multiplied then you're gonna have cosine, then you're gonna add two, and your angular frequency is 10, T, then you're gonna have the addition of the two angles, which is 20 degrees and negative 30 degrees. Now, after punching all of this into your calculator, or just punching the sections, which you can really punch into your calculator, you should actually get final values of, so P of T, which is the instantaneous power should be 1060.5996, right? Added to 165 cosine 20t, subtract 10 degrees, and all of that is in watts. You can now basically just convert this into kilowatts. And to do that, just basically uh, divide all the amplitudes or all the values by a thousand. And that is basically the notation which is written in the textbook of one point. So your final answer should be 1.0606, something like that. 
or just 1.060, yeah, basically something like that, plus 1.65 cosine of 20t, subtract 10 degrees, and all of that is now in kilowatts. So that is the first part of the question. This is the instantaneous power. Now, your average power is the real part. Or so, so this can basically be expressed as an imaginary number or an imaginary value. Now, if we take the, the real part of our instantaneous power, we actually find our average power. Now, let's look at the real part. The real part is only this section. So, which means our average power is 1.0606 kilowatts. And that is basically how you answer this question.